Hey guy lovers and welcome back to another video. Last week we shared 12 surprising facts about male cats. So naturally we had to dedicate our next video to the ladies. That's right, a girl cat is so much more than just a pretty face. Believe it or not, there are many fascinating things about female cats that are unique to their sex. Some of these might surprise you. So let's get started with this list of 12 fascinating facts about female cats. Number one. The world's oldest cat was female. Cream Puff won the Guinness World Record for oldest cat ever after living 38 years and 3 days. That's right, this tabby mix female was born on August 3rd, 1967 and lived until August 6th, 2005. Cream Puff lived in Austin, Texas with her owner, Jake Perry. But it gets even more bizarre because Cream Puff isn't the first of Jake's cats to win this record. The previous record holder from 1998 was given to his cat Grandpa Rexus Allen, who lived to be 34. According to Jake, about a third of his cats have lived to be at least 30 years old, which is about twice the average lifespan for a feline. So what's his secret? Jake said that on top of feeding his cats dry commercial cat food, they're also given home-cooked eggs, turkey bacon, broccoli, coffee with cream, and every two days, about an eyedropper full of red wine to circulate the arteries. Just for the record, while it's possible that Jake uncovered the secret to feline longevity, experts don't recommend giving cats coffee or wine, so we don't know how to explain this one. Number 2. A litter of kittens can be from multiple fathers. Yes, you heard that right. Sometimes a litter of kittens can come from multiple baby daddies. This phenomenon is known as super fecundation. Believe it or not, if a female cat mates with more than one male during her fertile period, her eggs can potentially be fertilized by more than one male. This phenomenon also happens in other animals like dogs and cows, and although extremely rare, this can also happen in humans. So how can you tell if a litter came from multiple fathers? Well, look to see if the kittens are a range of different colors. They might also be varying sizes and have different characteristics from each other. But even if the kittens look pretty similar, that doesn't always mean they have the same father. In a scenario where the mom and all the fathers are purebreds of the same breed, it can be impossible to know for sure if super fecundation occurred without a DNA test. In which case, it's time to call Maury. You are the father! I told you! I told you I was the dad! I Number three. They tend to be right pawed. Believe it or not, most cats also have a dominant paw, just like how humans tend to have a dominant hand. Cats can have a dominant paw for scenarios where they have to reach for food, walk upstairs, step over an object, and so on. But what's even more interesting is that paw preference actually differs by sex. Unlike males who tend to prefer their left paws, females usually prefer their right paws. In fact, a study found that 52% of female cats showed a right-sided paw preference, and about 20% showed no preference at all. This left only about 27% of females showing a left paw preference. I think these findings are pretty clear that females are usually right. I'm, I'm sorry, my wife wrote that joke. Number four, they have a longer life expectancy. On average, female cats live one to two years more than male cats. But although the exact reasoning for this longer life expectancy isn't totally clear, what we do know is that other factors are much more likely to determine a cat's life expectancy. One example is whether a cat is indoor or outdoor. According to WebMD, outdoor cats live an average of 2-5 to five years, while indoor cats typically live 10-15 to 15 years. When we mentioned this stat in our last video, some of you found it hard to believe, which is why I have to point out that these findings are based on averages. So while it's possible for an outdoor cat to live a long life, you have to remember that the dangers of the outside world, such as cars, diseases, and predators, bring the average age down. And also, whether or not a cat is spayed is a big deciding factor, which leads us to our next fact. Number 5. Spayed females live longer. A study done by Banfield Pet Hospitals based on a database of 460,000 cats found that spayed female cats live 39% longer than unspayed females. And there are actually a few reasons for this. First, a spayed female is completely eliminated from the risk of ovarian and uterine cancers because the ovaries and uterus are removed during the operation. 
Also, a spayed female is at a reduced risk for breast and mammary cancers, as well as mammary and reproductive tumors. In fact, if a female is spayed before her first heat cycle, the rate of her developing breast tumors drops to nearly zero. Finally, a spayed cat is also spared from other life-threatening diseases such as pyometria, which is a severe uterine infection that is almost always fatal if undetected. Needless to say, the less likely a cat is to catch a deadly disease, the more likely they are to live a long life. Number 6. They have three nicknames. It's well known that a female cat is known as a Molly or a Queen. Molly is a generic nickname that is used for a female cat of any age. On the other hand, the term Queen is used when the cat is pregnant and about to give birth to her kittens. This term was derived from the word queening, which is a cat's birthing process. A female is continued to be called a Queen until she stops nursing and raising her kittens. After that, she's a Molly once again. But there's a third lesser known nickname for female cats, which is a Dan. This term is used to describe a purebred cat that is used for breeding or a cat that is an older female. Number 7. Tortoiseshells and calicos are almost always female. A tortoiseshell cat has a bicolored coat that looks like the shell of a tortoise. Its colors are usually ginger and black. Similarly, a calico has a tricolor coat with a white base and orange and black patches. It turns out that most calicos and torties are females thanks to their DNA. Remember that females have two X chromosomes while males have one X and one Y chromosome. Since two X chromosomes are needed to make a calico or tortoiseshell coat, these coat patterns are almost always reserved for the ladies. But there is an exception to this rule. Although very rare, a male tortoiseshell or calico is possible if he is born with an extra X chromosome. But this occurrence is pretty rare. In fact, a study found that only one out of every 3,000 calico cats is male. The same is true for tortoiseshells. Number 8. They can get pregnant young. According to WebMD, the average female cat will go into her first heat cycle between 6 and 9 months of age. But a female can be as old as 12 months or even as young as 4 months. Yes, you heard that right, a cat can start her heat cycle as young as a 4 month old, which means it's possible for her to get pregnant as young as 4 months. Although there is no way to know for sure when a female cat will hit puberty, certain factors such as breed increase the chances of maturing early. For example, a Siamese is known to mature early, around 4 months, while a Persian tends to mature later, closer to 12 months. Number 9. They don't get adopted as fast. A study done with cats at Partners for Pets Animal Shelter in Troy, Illinois found that female cats were at a shelter longer than male cats. To be more specific, females were at the shelter an average of 8.3 months, while males were there an average of 6.4 months. This is likely because many people believe male cats are more affectionate than females. While some experts think there may be some truth to this, most agree that a cat's affection level usually boils down to their individual personality. So if you are thinking about adopting a cat, we strongly encourage you to base your decision on how well you bond with the cat instead of their sex. Number 10. Females stick together in colonies. A cat colony is a group of outside cats that stay close to food and shelter. Interestingly, males and females play different roles in this group. Females tend to stay together in colonies to help each other raise and guard kittens. On the other hand, males remain on their own to avoid having to compete for females and food. But when males aren't off on their own, they usually just hang around the edges and wait for the chance to mate. Number 11. The most popular female cat name is Bella. It turns out that Bella isn't just a popular name for human girls. According to Nationwide Pet Insurance's policyholder database, the most popular female cat name for 2021 was found to be Bella. The name Bella means beautiful in Italian. Bella is a popular nickname for Isabella, Annabella, and Arabella. But it's also very popular as a standalone name, especially in recent times. If you have a cat named Bella, let us know in the comments. Number 12. Two of the top three richest pets are female cats. A list of the top 10 richest pets from the 2018 Pet Rich List revealed that the richest pet is a dog named Gunther IV. 
Number two was the internet famous Grumpy Cat, whose real name was Tartar Sauce. And if you've seen how huge Grumpy Cat's presence is on the internet, you shouldn't be too shocked to hear that her net worth was estimated to be over $99 million. Sadly, she passed away in 2019. Third on the list is Taylor Swift's cat named Olivia Benson, who was named after one of the characters on Law & Order SVU, one of Taylor's favorite shows. Thanks to her huge social media presence and appearance in ads for Coke and Ked shoes, Olivia Benson has an estimated net worth of $97 million. Which of these female cat facts did you find the most surprising? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy this type of content, please give this video a like as it helps us out in the YouTube algorithm. And we all know that cats rightfully deserve to rule the internet, so let's keep it.